Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for shopping. the super chat. Um, he says he's shopping for one subwoofer for two channel music to match his Kef R's. One you... subwoofer for two channel music to match his Kef R's. All right. What's your budget? You no, no, no. Chat? Let's not do one subwoofer. What's your budget? Let's do now, that. I would say what's the size of the room and like how much bass do you want? Like, do you want earth shattering, you know, oh. bu butthole quivering bass or do you just want something solid? That's what Joe likes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Which Kef R is doing bass? That's which Kef R is. Hey, save that, that one. That, you gotta save R3. that one. Use that in the review, please. Tim, next time. Tim, no, <laughs> Tim, you need to toddle it. So butt quivering bass. <laughs> and then it's gonna, so we're just gonna talk about this. <laughs> butt quivering uh, bass. Make it right, so, right by there. 22. That's meters, hard, dude. No. I, I, okay. So he I'm wants imagining an eight foot ceiling. Eight foot ceiling. Yeah, you already know what we're gonna say, right? Like it doesn't you two yeah. subs is always better. No, the the big subwoofer because <laughs> me Megatron Arms Cannon. If you're in here, dude, yeah, tell yeah. them about Where's, how awesome those bigs are. Him. I know, yeah. Uh, uh, Kef so R3. two is always better. I would Kef say R3. Okay. Two oh yeah, those things have no base, dude. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, two decent subs are gonna be better than one sure. really really you good know, sub. I, I would say you know you could go with like a nice uh, sealed uh, twelve inch. Yeah. Of, um, SVS. Pretty yep. cheap. Get I was gonna say those. SPS or mono price would probably be, yeah. You know, what's the budget? Is there a budget here? Right, I, I don't see know. A budget. Um, I would say like, uh, if you really wanted to get crazy, you know, you can get some rels, and you're not running crazy. GSP. Like, in what way are you getting crazy? Got get like spend more money. Actually, oh, okay. you can get a 10 inch rel for 500 bucks. So that's almost the same price as the SBS SB 1000, right? What are those five or 600 now? Well, if he has some Kef R3s, right? I, I kind of assume like people who buy Kef are into measurements. I yeah. don't know why. I just go, feel like... Go with the SVS. Yeah, something that maybe measures a certain way. And also, what do you have it connected to, right? Do you have, do you have yeah. something that can... Uh, that can EQ, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. Yes. DSP. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. I, I don't know. I think SVS is always a safe bet. Yeah. I feel that way about mono price and SVS. Generally also speaking, I would just say get whichever one you like. SVS yeah. look better. That's for I think, sure. I think they have a sale. And they don't on, weigh like a thousand pounds. Ones. Yeah. But the mono price are usually about $100 or so cheaper, aren't they? Just because you're not paying for the DSP that's built into probably, them. So if probably. you don't need that, then you could save a little bit of money and go that route. But if you don't have DSP already, then I think SVS is probably a, a safe bet too. Outlet yeah. SVS outlet speaker out view all subwoofer outlets because they had a big sale on the older uh subwoofers though, like the 1000, not the 1000 Pro. So I have the PB 1000 Pro in this Ooh. room, which is small. This is a small room, 1100 cubic oh, that, feet. You, PB 1000, right? PB, yeah, the port. Yeah, I have that. That yeah. thing bumps, dude. Dude, this thing's insane thing, in this room, yeah. That thing bumps. Uh, in a 4400 cubic foot room eh, maybe not as much you know two yeah. of those probably be good depending on what kind of music you're listening to i would say um t yeah. checks 13 all day and night all all night all day all night all day okay. all right i see how all you night. roll home theater joe that's a that's a big boy right there you still have that one aaron the mm. 13. Yes, yes. Oh, hobie okay. hobie NAD's if you're watching this send somebody to pick this stuff up dude <laughs> I don't. Maybe he was on vacation last week, but I've been asking for like two weeks, and he his market their marketing person was out on vacation the week before last. So I get it, but I sent him another reminder last. I think it was on Friday. I was like, "Hey, just a reminder. I've I've got eleven or ten speakers and that big huge subwoofer, and they're taking up so much room." I sent him a joke like two emails ago, and I said, "If you don't come and get these things, I'm giving them away." Like <laughs> basically, so. people who buy Kev have hot partners, so the woofer has to look hot to match. Yeah, I think he, oh, if you buy Kev, you also like uh, nice looking stuff. So, so here's here's what he's got it connected to this. Uh, okay, uh, NAD six fifty eight. Let's check out the caboose here. Noise. Uh, NAD. Yeah, we got two subwoofer outputs. So yeah, that's yep. mm -hmm. what kind know. of room correction does it have? It. Let's see. Two thousand dollars should have something. Does it have Dirac? That'd be interesting. It's got Blue OS. Da, 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 da. Dirac, Dirac, yeah. So oh, you're good, man. Yeah, good. Just get a just get a SVS mono monolith. Yeah, 
I think you're you're set with those. I mean, if you want to kind of go outside of that, I think a lot of people like the Chu HSU subs, mm-hmm. the PSA subs. I've heard a lot of good things about. I've, I haven't tried them myself, but uh, and, and the DIY route too. You know, go on Parts Express, maybe get some of those. Like, uh, what do they have? Ultimax. If you like the dude, stuff. I I would love to do some DIY, but I'm just like I don't have time for that nonsense. Yeah. Yep. But, uh, yep. But yeah, the new um the new uh. Uh, SVS uh, 1000 Pros, not too expensive, so you could get two of them. Mm-hmm. I know. Uh, do you still have that SB 3000, Joe? Yeah, that thing yeah. would probably be good in his space. Oh, yeah, more more wattage. Um, yeah. because because it is like 4400 cubic feet. So, yeah, I mean his space is big though. Yeah, it's big. The I space mean, is I, w- big. I think I would rather. Uh, I mean, two very capable subs. Yes, is really ideal, right? Yeah, Two capable yeah. subs. Oh, he so. says that he thinks he likes the ARX Rel series. Yeah, well, I don't even know what series that is. I just um, go with although the although uh, Rel did come out with some new um, home theater subwoofers, which they're going to send over to me at some point. But I think Shane has a video about it. As, so if Shane has a video about it, then I think the the uh, NDA has been lifted. Yeah, I don't think the 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 rel I would recommend to somebody who really doesn't have any DSP uh, DSP at all, yeah. you know, because yeah, you're gonna add DSP to that thing anyway. All the stuff that they market where it's like, oh, it's fast, you know, this and that. I think they're referring to the fact that it doesn't have DSP. But if you're gonna add DSP anyway, who cares? Now you're gonna have to work to get it to extend the base down, right? Because yeah. that's usually the issue with the rels is that it doesn't play deep enough. Whereas if you buy an SVS, they might have the same, you know, similar size enclosure, but they've used the DSP already to extend Damn. the base down. You would have to do that manually. So Box you have card to have eight. a little bit of experience to know where, what your limits are. And, you know, it doesn't have a built-in limiter, I wouldn't imagine. So uh-huh. anyway, after every Monday podcast, we have an after show. If you're interested in joining us, go to patreon.com forward slash daily high five.